वेलकम टू सीज द मेन्स बाय राज मल्होत्राज आई एस अकेडमी आम सुरभि सरदाना एंड दिस इज सीजन थ्री ऑफ आर डेली आंसर राइटिंग इनिशिएटिव दिस इनिशिएटिव रन इन कॉर्डिनेशन विद आर वेबसाइट दैट इज राज आई एस अकेडमी डॉट कॉम ऑन आर वेबसाइट इन द मेन्स आंसर राइटिंग सेक्शन हेयर इफ यू क्लिक हेयर यूल सी अ लिस्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड यू कैन चूज टू राइट आंसर टू एनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन अगर आप मेन्स के लिए आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस करना चाहते हैं दैन दिस इज द बेस्ट थिंग फॉर यू आर टीम इवेल्यूएट्स ऑल दोज आंसर्स एंड रिस्पॉन्स बैक टू यू विद देर फीडबैक इन लेस देन फोर्टी एट आवर्स एंटायरली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑल्सो द डिस्कशन दैट विल बी हेल्प टूडे इसका पूरा आंसर द हो द इंटायर आंसर द कम्प्लीट आंसर हैज़ बीन अपलोडेड ऑन आर वेबसाइट सो थ्रू दिस डिस्कशन डोंट मेक एनी नोट्स यू कैन जस्ट स्क्रिबल ऑन योर रफ नोट बुक्स इफ इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू बट द इंटायर आंसर हैज़ बीन अपलोडेड ऑन आर वेबसाइट सो डोंट वरी अबाउट मिसिंग आउट ऑन एनी थिंग द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज चोला आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर येस्टरडे इन आर करंट अफेयर सेशन इन आई आर एंड करंट अफेयर इन कल्चर सेशन वी टुक चोला ब्रॉन्ज स्कल्पचर्स सम आइडल्स वर्स चोलन फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु एंड दे वर फाउंड इन some museum in the united states of america so regarding that chola uh, bronze sculptures have been in news for quite a while now they you know sometimes idols are found here or there in many parts of the world so chola dynasty and their contribution to art and architecture is very important so that's why we've taken this question the question is that chola period marks a distinct and significant period in the art and architecture of india explain आंसर इन टू फिफ्टी वर्ड्स सो दिस इज़ अ वेरी यू नो डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन इसमें ज़्यादा कुछ समझने की ज़रूरत नहीं है डिस्कस क्वेश्चन भी नहीं है सो यू डोंट हैव टू यू नो थिंक अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इट्स जस्ट एक्सप्लेन सो यू जस्ट हैव टू इलाबोरेट ऑन द फैक्ट्स दैट यू नो अबाउट द आर्ट आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर डेवलपमेंट दैट वर टेकिंग प्लेस ड्यूरिंग देर रेन सो जो भी डेवलपमेंट्स आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर में हो रही थी उस टाइम में उसके बारे में आपको जितना भी आता है उसको एक अच्छा सा स्ट्रक्चर दे के आंसर में प्रजेंट कीजिए so for uh, we'll start with the introduction first in the introduction you will have to talk about the chola dynasty first and the initial stages of art and architecture of any dynasty are influenced by the previous dynasty kyunki jo rulers ko wo overtake kar rahe hain previous rulers se thoda to influence hota hi hai so you will have to talk a little bit about pallavas and their architecture just in one line and then you can talk about cholas and how uh, you know how their art and architecture proceeded over time also they were the longest ruling dynasties of south india one of the longest ruling dynasties of south india so this is a very important dynasty this is going to be a long answer and you will have to talk about different stages of art and architecture agar koi choti dynasty hoti to shayad aap ek paragraph pe khatam kar sakte the but in the chola period also there were many stages if you go to wikipedia you will find at least three stages three or two stages are mentioned everywhere of development of art and architecture so we will be taking an answer our answer in that logical format only we'll be taking it forward so the first line here is that it will tell you about how cholas came to power after the pallavas chola dynasty became the main power of southern india and emerged victorious among other kingdoms they advanced as far as bengal sri lanka java sumatra, uh, sumatra and had trailing, trade links as far as indonesia so your first line is a very general one but second line is very important if you write about these places ki chola dynasty ka expanse kahan tak tha you can use a map also where you can you know shade the part where chola dynasty was uh, was ruling you can shade the part in southeast asia also java sumatra wala area hai aap usko mark kar sakte hain from this line the examiner will get clarity that you know about the expanse and jo आर्किटेक्चर या आर्ट की बातें लिखने वाले हैं अपने आंसर में सो इट विल बिकम वेरी क्लियर दैट इन ऑल दीज प्लेसेस चोला स्कल्पचर्स चोला आर्किटेक्चर चोला आर्ट कैन बी फाउंड और हैज बीन फाउंड फ्रॉम सो दीज प्लेसेस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड नाउ वील यूज दिस लाइन टू टेल दैट वाई चोलाज हैड सो मच आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर इन्फ्लुएंस द चोलाज यूटिलाइज द वेल्थ ऑन थ्रू देयर extreme extensive conquest in building long lasting stone temples and exquisite bronze sculptures in an almost exclusively hindu cultural setting so here they expanded their kingdom to all these places and jo bhi conquest se paise aate the they actually put it towards development of art and architecture towards development of long lasting stone temples and exquisite bronze sculptures so till here everything is very clear and you've talked about the hindu cultural setting also so now the examiner knows that 
you know the basis of this story you know the basis of topic that how this how these rulers and why these rulers were developing art and architecture the chola kings built numerous temples throughout their kingdom which normally comprised the plains central and northern tamil nadu and at times the entire state of tamil nadu as also adjoining parts of modern karnataka and andhra pradesh now this line is a uh, this line is up to you it's optional if you want to use it then go for it otherwise when you're writing this line this will represent this will present enough information to the examiner that where these art and architecture things or artifacts can be found in the linkage point now uh, we'll be starting talking about the architecture under chola rulers so we'll say that it occurred in three phases the early phase the middle phase or the medieval phase and the later phase the middle phase under raja raj chola one that is very much important so we will emphasize that a lot jabka first phase hai that was influenced a little bit by pallavas to a great extent by pallavas and the last phase was influenced a bit by chalukyas and thoda डिक्लाइन शुरू हो गया था लास्ट फेज की तरफ सो मिडल फेज विल हैव एक्सटेंसिव इन्फॉर्मेशन बट टू इंट्रोड्यूस दैट पार्ट यू विल हैव अ लिंकेज पॉइंट हियर यू डोंट हैव टू गिव द हेडिंग लिंकेज पॉइंट यू कैन हैव दिस एज द लास्ट लाइन ऑफ योर इंट्रोडक्शन या इंट्रोडक्शन के बाद नेक्स्ट लाइन में यू कैन से दैट इन द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द चोला टेम्पल आर्किटेक्चर वी कैन रफली सी थ्री मेजर फेजेस द फर्स्ट इज द अर्ली फेज स्टार्टिंग विद Vijayala Chola and continuing till Sunand uh, Sunandara Chola. If you do not know these names, आपको कोई uh, you don't have to worry about it. If you are reading this answer and if you can remember this name these names, very good. Otherwise, just start talking about art and architecture during the early phase. So these the first seeds of Chola temple architecture were possibly sown during this period. So from here, Chola architecture started. The temple architecture evolved from the early cave temple. पहले cave temples होते थे and monolithic temples होते थे एक ही पत्थर के temples बने होते थे of Mamlapuram to the Kailash Nath and Vaikunt Perumal temples of Kanchipuram. So they were more exquisite as compared to the monolithic or cave temples of earlier times. And these are the two prolific builders. Here you can also say that early phase was influenced by Pallava architecture. these two adityavan and parantaka one were prolific builders of their faith inscriptions of adityavan record that he built a number of temples along the banks of river kaveri these temples were much smaller in comparison to the next phase that is the middle phase that we will talk about right now of the later cholas and were probably brick structures rather than stone kyunki bahut chote chote temples the isliye koi zyada famous temples hai nahi is time ke here you can talk about the evolution ki evolution kaise ho raha hai temples ka and previous phase se aur next phase se kaise different hai in the coming phases we'll be giving examples of temples also as you can see in the middle phase here again kaun se rulers ke under develop hue the the first one was raja raj chola and the second second is rajendra chola तो यहाँ पर बहुत ज़्यादा हाइट अचीव की थी सोला चोला एम्पायर ने सो देर वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ वेल्थ अवेलेबल एंड ऑल्सो दीज टू रूलर्स दे वर पेट्रंस ऑफ आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ दैर टाइम्स सो टेम्पल बिल्डिंग रिसीव ग्रेट इम्पेटर्स फ्रॉम द कॉन्क्वेस्ट एंड जीनियस ऑफ राजा राज चोला एंड इज सन राजेंद्र चोला वन अ नंबर ऑफ स्मॉल श्राइन्स वर बिल्ड अर्ली अर्लियर फेज में बहुत सारे स्मॉल श्राइन्स बनाए जाते थे नोटेबल अमंग दीज वर Tiru uh, Valiswaram Temple near Tiruneveli. If you do not know about it, don't worry. But if write something, write names of temples. We will be talking about the Brihadeshwar, uh, Brihadeshwar Temple or the Dakshin Meru. But other temples are also important. So Chola Dynasty ke time ke kuch temples ap yad rakhe. The temple is covered with exquisite, well composed sculptures and friezes, some containing comic features, uh, comic figures hai, and there are embellished creepers and foliage is there. The maturity and grandeur to which Chola architecture had evolved found expression in the two magnificent temples of Thanjavur and Gangai Konda Chola Puram. These two are very important. We'll be discussing the temple of Thanjavur here in de detail. That is the Brihadesh uh, Brihadarishwar uh, Brihadavishwar temple and or the magnificent Shiva temple or known as the Dakshin Meru. So it is first of all it is the largest and tallest temple of India. it is um uh, out of all the indian temples it is one of the largest and tallest temples it is said ki jo uske upar ek uh, bahut hi bada uh, 
carving here that is there is there is a separate platform on the top of the temple and a 6 kilometer platform had to be constructed to safely take it to that height ki 6 kilometer dur tak ek pavement banaya gaya tha so temple was uh, that uh, you know granite block that was actually pulled towards the top of the temple so that's why iska jo architecture hai bahut zyada important hai these are the details it has two gopurams each facing each other so gopurams are very important when it comes to temple architecture of south india make sure that you are talking about gopurams and here especially in the brihade uh, brihadeshwara temple these gopurams vimans and the colors that is there on the top of temple that is 3.5 meters long and the granite block hai on the top of the temple that is very important so talk about these four five points about this particular temple and just say that it became so famous that it came to be known as the dakshin meru earlier it was known as the shiv temple of thanjavur later uh, you know Lord Shiva is uh, known as Brihadeshwar in Marathi and Sanskrit, North Indian languages basically. So now later it came to be known as the Brihadeshwara Temple. Now in the final phase, you can talk about that. Anybody would feel that after you know passing away of those two rulers, Rajendra Chola and Raja Raj Chola, this uh, Chola Empire saw a decline, but that was not the case. For at least hundred more years, art and architecture flourished. So the Chola style continued to flourish for a century longer and expressed itself in a large number of temples. For example, here also we are talking about two temples: the temple at Darasuram. First is Darasuram temple, and the second one is Kampa. Uh, Kampaheshwara temple. So these uh, will be very important. If you are writing an example, this will definitely get you more marks. Next, uh, about you know, just not about the temple architecture. There were many other things also which Cholas were doing. There, they are famous for the sculptures and bronzes. Lost wax technique होती है bronze sculpture बनाने की, so they use that exquisitely while making bronze sculptures. And recently the current affairs discussion this, uh, discussion that we took was about sculptures only कि कुछ statues थे, कुछ idols थी जो कि चोरी हो गई थी एक temple से and USA के किसी museum में मिली. So these were also very important and they were widely made, they were widely carved. So among the existing specimens in the various museums of the world are in the temples of South India. May be seen fine figures of Shiva in various forms, very important. Hindu mythology को बढ़ावा दे रहे थे and Lord Shiva was of prominence there. There are uh, he is found with his consort Parvati and the other gods and demigods. Vishnu is also found and other uh, Nayanars and Shiva saints are also found in the idols that were there. Apart from the idols, some paintings have been found. Fresco paintings मिली हैं ब्रह्मदेश्वरा टेम्पल की दो वॉल्स पर. So you can write about that also. Either talk about paintings separately. नहीं तो जो जहाँ पर हमने ब्रह्मदेश्वरा टेम्पल की बात की है, आप उसी में लिख सकते हैं कि paintings, fresco paintings were done. After you know one layer was made, in the next two three days, the entire big painting had to be finished. So a lot of labor was, a lot of artisans, a lot of artists were involved in creating such things. In addition to the temples, in addition to the sculptures, paintings, and idols, they constructed a lot of public helping facilities. So they built many buildings, such as hospitals, public utility buildings, and palaces. Cities were also constructed. Some new cities were developed. Various public uh, works, like cities, roads, irrigation works, artificial tanks. Of very important, very much importance because southern rivers जो हैं वो perennial rivers नहीं हैं उनमें पानी हमेशा नहीं रहता so artificial tanks और water harvesting techniques were very important. They were constructed and then you can talk about the city that Rajendra Chola one developed. He constructed a city, a water tank and a temple with the same name of Gangae Konda Chola Puram. Many such buildings find mentions in their inscriptions and contemporary accounts. That's where we get to know about them. So. In the conclusion, uh, you know your 250 words should end here. If you have some more examples, if you can draw the map of Chola Empire, nothing better than that. But in the conclusion, you can say that yes, hence from the above we can see that Chola art and architecture was exquisite and they contributed immensely to the cultural heritage that we have today. You can also talk about their preservation. That still we are in awe that how these things were constructed. For example, the last line: the marvels continue to enthuse people till today and will continue. To do for many more decades if preserved. So idols get stolen, temples, you know, they lose their 
दे लूज देयर प्रिस्टीन नेचर उनकी जो आइडेंटिटी है वो धीरे धीरे खत्म हो जाती है बिकॉज दे आर नॉट प्रिजर्व देर सो मेनी विच हैव टू बी इवन लोकेटेड राइट नाउ सो दे हैव टू बी प्रिजर्व यू कैन टॉक अबाउट सम इनिशिएटिव ऑफ गवर्नमेंट वी आर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर आस्किंग फॉर यूनेस्को यूनेस्को हेरिटेज designation for many of the temples or many of the monuments uh, monuments of, of these of this dynasty also there is this idol wing of tamil nadu which is very much involved in finding and locating all the idols which are of cultural importance or are holy to the people of tamil nadu and surrounding areas especially the chola dynasty wherever it was there so suffice your answer with enough facts and of data and some current affairs your history and culture answers they cannot just have some static information if they are asked to you in mains exam there is a purpose kis koi na koi matlab hota hai agar mains mein koi particular dynasty kisi saal puchi ja rahi hai to so make sure that you are updated with current affairs also and you are using that information whether in one or two lines in your introduction conclusion to make it clear to the examiner that you are a very good aspirant and you know what is happening and what needs to be done so this is your answer for today the question for tomorrow that is available on the website this is the snapshot or our web of our website so it is about cyber security today at 2:30 pm aman sir took a current affairs discussion about internal security social issues and ethics from there we have picked up this question Digital India requires strong focus on cyber security quote quote statement what are the challenges faced by cyber security in india impediments kya hain digital india ke liye basically what can be the solutions for near future that india as a nation can resort to so you can talk about political solutions solutions that we as you know the citizens of india should resort to and you can talk about other security based solutions at the level of bureaucracy or the you know or the level of ministries itself so you can talk about solutions answer in 250 words Now this statement is also there. आपको उसको भी ध्यान में रखना है एंड देर आर टू क्वेश्चन इन दिस देर आर टू सब पार्ट टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो कीप द वर्ड लिमिट इन माइंड अगेन दिस इज अ वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन इन द फ्यूचर डेज विल बी टेकिंग सम कॉमेंट क्वेश्चन जो थोड़े ट्विस्टेड क्वेश्चन होते हैं या अगर साइंस का क्वेश्चन सोसाइटी में पूछ लिया जाता है विल ट्राई टू टेक सम दोज क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो अ बिट ट्विस्टेड वंस एंड देन वील प्रोसीड आर प्रैक्टिस post your answers on the on our website the link is there in the description below click on that it will take you to our website go to mains answer writing section and post as many answers as you can write we eagerly wait for your answers we are fully committed to helping you out i'll see you tomorrow saturday 9 pm again with the answer to this question till then take care keep practicing and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet